Hello guys, before we get into this video, please subscribe to the channel and also press that bell so that when a new video comes out, you'll be notified. And remember to smash that like button. Thank you. Hello guys, this is Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to um, record with ReLive or like your AMD graphics card because with your when you when you get when you purchase your graphics card, it comes with a program called ReLive, which is like kind of like built in basically. And the thing is it's one of the best ways to record if you have AMD because I've tested it out and I've recorded with it and it's like pretty good like I'm talking about recording like games and stuff like not just like your desktop or anything and like the quality of it was pretty good and it was smooth and those are the two big things of you know wanting or like recording basically so first of all you want to have your a Radian settings or your AMD settings up so I'm just gonna open that up open up please <laughs> I think I clicked it already and it's yeah popping up alright so it should like li look like this if you have you know you have the updated version of Radian um, I will leave a link in the description below on how to um, uh, uh, not how to I mean a link in the description below to where you can download this if you don't already have it um, so anyways so it would look like this you wanna just press relive and so you gotta let it load up not responding. I think it's a bit laggy because um, I'm in the currently in the middle of upload up what do you call recording with it. So first, this would be switched off. None of this would be here. So you just want to turn it on. Then you want to press record desktop. You want to select a folder where you want to save like your recording files. I, I save it onto a, a, sp uh, a, a like a spare hard drive where I just put all my recordings onto it. It reduces like the lag, of course. And then you want to just keep this disabled. I'm, I'm, I don't use that because it works either way. Anyways, um, now you want to go to where it says toggle recording uh, hotkey. And you want to just press press shift key and then press any of the keys on your keyboard. So then you'll have to press shift key in that key when you want to start recording or end the recording. And uh, you want to you go here and select your audio device and then turn on audio or record voice or something I, I think it says record microphone or something just turn that on and for me I selected oh yeah yeah turn it on here and then for me I selected it to be around 90% because um, my microphone's alright and it, it sounds pretty good at this level if I put it at 100 you will hear like a uh, background noise really loudly um, audio volume boost it was it's usually off but I put mine as not as low you guys can mess around with these and um, see how it sounds like with your microphone because we all have different microphones anyway so now what you want to do is just go to recordings um, what I did I think by default it has like a random I can't remember what number but you got to select uh, 1080 or just select the resolution of your monitor so I did 1080 I, um, if you have a 720 monitor pick that it just depends uh, max bitrate is 30 by default I set mine to 40 or 39.5 but you can keep increasing it depending on how good your computer is. I have a RX 580, so recording at like 40 me meg meg megabits per second, it it's pretty good. Or megabytes per second, uh, it it's pretty good for my like graphics card. Uh, you want to keep this as 60 FPS. You can well 60 FPS for recording games, 30 FPS you want to record like your desktop. But I just keep it at 60 either way. It doesn't really matter. Um, uh, encoding type, I kept that as AVC. Uh, audio bitrate, kept that the same. I I realize, I noticed that if I put it higher, it, it kind of like messes up my microphone when I record. Um, separate microphone track is pretty important if you have like really loud game sounds. It, it's be, it's a, a lot easier to separate them than OBS because I found a problem with OBS where I couldn't do it, even though I watched a tutorial on it. So this is a much much better way of um, separating your um, your auto tracks so you can adjust the volume of you know your game or your voice everything else you can keep off at audio channels just automatic um, for scene uh, to turn off you want to turn off um, uh, indicator location which it just show it shows like a microphone up here overlay and, and the time of recording but it shows up in the video and I feel like you don't really need that so I turned that off that's all guys um, actually, wait, before we end the video, I'm going to show you uh, a clip of 
what my game or what a recording kind of looks like with these settings on. Uh, so I'll go to where they're located. It's this one. Yes, this one. And so you'll be able to see the the level of like detail and how um and how good it is, like how smooth it feels. And I'm recording on uh and also when you record this, just make sure your game is on like uh VSync or VSync's on because it helps like encode the videos and then you won't have problems of like uh, it won't have the problem of trying to keep it like it, it won't basically what I'm trying to say is that it won't lag essentially so that's all guys hopefully you guys enjoyed my video please leave a like and subscribe thank you goodbye <laughs>